And Israel is moving closer to dissolving the Knesset and will head to elections later this year. The one man who has been who set the balls rolling here amid the turbulence is Benjamin Netanyahu. Netanyahu was Israel's longest serving leader. That was until a year ago when it mustered a rare alliance of hard right, liberal and Arab politicians. Now just this week, Prime Minister Naftali Bennett announced that the eight-party coalition was no longer tenable. The government has said that it wants to fast-track parliament's dissolution. But the opposition led by Netanyahu may attempt to derail the process. Netanyahu has been delighted by the disbanding of what he calls the worst government in Israel's history. Netanyahu has cheered the coalition's collapse, vowed to form a new right-wing government with or without fresh elections. He is hopeful of winning a sixth term in office. Netanyahu is now trying his best to form a replacement government without the need for an election. But timelines for that process remain unclear and could depend on Netanyahu's political calculations. Meanwhile, ministers in Israel's outgoing government, they vow to prevent a comeback of the ex-premier, Benjamin Netanyahu. Even as the country braces for snap election, polls predict no clear winner. As per a poll aired by Tel Aviv radio station, Netanyahu and rightist allies would command 59 parliament seats versus 55 predicted for parties in the current coalition. Four separate polls found that neither bloc would secure the 61 seat needed for a majority in the 120 seat parliament. Netanyahu is certain to win the support of the ultra-orthodox and extreme religious Zionist parties. Netanyahu is on trial over corruption charges and that could be a stumbling block in Netanyahu's return to yet another term. Coalition lawmakers are also pushing a legislation that will bar a person under criminal indictment from heading a government, though it is unclear whether they have enough votes on the same. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.